station with 90 volts solar input. How does that work over time? Let's do some torture tests on this and see how it can handle it. In today's video, we're going to check out the All Powers power station and their portable solar panel. So this is one kilowatt hour capacity with an 1800 watt inverter with 3000 watt surge. So I just set up the portable solar panels, these are 200 watts, and we're going to connect them to the power station unit. So we got MC4 connectors right here, just going to plug them in. MC4 connectors come standard on the panel. Okay, we're getting 116 watts coming in. So these solar panels have an open circuit voltage of like 44, 45 volts, which is kind of interesting. So currently they are in full sunshine. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning and we're getting 116 watts out of a 200 watt maximum. So one of the unique features about this all power, power station is that it can handle up to 90 volts of solar input. That is far above a lot of competitors. So we've been running these two generic 300 watts panel for the past week, uh, putting them in series to jack up the voltage. So for the most part, these are getting like four or 500 watts in the sun. And that's all week. In the workshop, we have a 48 volt battery bank that we charge with a 48 volt charger. So for the past week, we've been using this all power station to power the charger. With the two panels in series, we've been bringing in about 60 volts. In other words, this is a way to stress test this unit. So we've been filling this up with solar power all week in order to funnel it into the charger. So we have DC coming in here, and then there's an inverter in here, right? Transferring it to AC. And then, so AC has been going into the charger, which has been converting it into DC again. Now this has been pulling a constant like 900 watts. So we have just been constantly getting power in and drawing power out for a full week non-stop. This really taxes the inverter inside and we haven't had one single issue. Now we've tested a few different units, different brands with this methodology and the thing that's happened with most of them is that the inverter has gotten hot. So the BMS system has shut things down because it's been overheating. Now it hasn't been breaking but the BMS has shut things down just because things have gotten too hot. Well not the case here. This has stayed cool, we haven't had any heat issues whatsoever, it's just been a constant and transfer of power for the full week. Now in terms of the unit here, you can like you can hold it, you know, there's handles, one handle on each side, they're pretty deep. And then on this side here, we can connect it to expand to other batteries. On this side, this is where we have inputs. So we have put in our, our solar here, and this is where we're gonna power it through the wall. And then of course the front here, this is where you actually you know, plug things in. If you wanna use regular plugs here, you also have USB, and this is a 12 volt accessory plug. There's an app and you can turn the AC or the DC on or off. Also you can set the work mode. In fast mode it drew up to 1500 watts coming in with solar and AC power plugged in. Mute mode is just quiet, so no fan and a bit less input. Standard mode brings in about 1100 watts. And in eco mode you can set when you want to shut the unit down. It's kind of interesting to be able to do a test for a longer period of time to see how something holds up. Because when you just first try it, you know everything looks great, but it's only once you've had a chance to really try something out that you get a feel for how it works. Um, and having one week of constant use of bringing the solar in and charging it out, you know, constantly having that inverter work, um, we have been <laughs> really testing this unit out and it has performed really great. In terms of this 200 watt solar panel, it folds up nicely, weighs about 15 pounds. We've been getting pretty good numbers on this, coming close to the max 200 watts. Um, they actually sell the power station and the solar panel individually, or you can pick them up in a set. And I was just looking at what they're selling these for, and it, it's pretty reasonable, especially if you compare to other brands and similar products. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. There will be links to all of these products in the description. Bye. Let me just show you how to turn a screen on and off. Okay, Actually, let's push this in. Okay, so now 